Why do you think revenue operations is important then for the success of, of B2B companies then today? I think because it's a door opener, right? It, it allows new conversations to happen in, in, in the table, in the revenue table. One of them being, for example, retention. You mm. never really heard about retention being a, a priority. And, and it is because of revenue operations that we're starting to see um, to see more more operations that are not really sales based uh, kind of come to, to to the discussion, and since it's a it's a customer centric way of thinking as I was describing, it also it brings customer success to to very early stages of the sales cycles, which is another mm-hmm. thing that we never really really saw, and this married mar- marries with the retention talk that I was talking about. It's way more expensive to to focus on net new than focusing on landing and expansion. Um, It is important because revenue operations uh, brings kind of the bacon to to, to home and creates a a stronger rapport with the the end user. And therefore, um, adding revenue operations to an organization makes that growth even more fluid. And it it allows also the, the business to adapt to changes that might happen in the market uh, or that are going to happen eventually. I mean, if, if there's something that we saw through through COVID, mm-hmm. is that a lot of the of the arms from marketing disappeared. A lot of us were in the situation where we lost budgets, we lost channels, we lost, for example, um, direct direct mail. Kind of changed a lot. Field marketing pretty much disappeared. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think with revenue operations is. Is, is this kind of instance that allows you, and it becomes a fully a full department. There's organizations that are starting to, to hire for revenue operations, and, and when it's a full department, it allows for this um, adaptability to uncertainty to happen.